I'm going to show you guys how to create a sphere from a cube. Let's start by first creating a cube. Notice that I have a very simple looking cube right here. Next, I'm going to create three NURBS circles. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to duplicate it, Control D or Edit Duplicate, and I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to select those three rings, and I'm going to scale them from the middle, from the center of the scene, because this cube is bigger than the NURBS circles. We don't see them, so let's go ahead and scale them. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select one of the circles. I'm going to rotate it so that it faces the front camera. So I'm pressing the letter J as I move it so that I snap it. And then I'm going to select the third circle and I'm going to rotate this one towards the side camera while holding the letter J. And I'm going to rotate this at the 90 degrees. So now you will notice that if we go in all of our views, by hitting the space bar, and I'm going to zoom out, you will see that this cube has a circle facing each one of the cameras, top, front, and our side camera. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to select the cube, and we're going to smooth it. We're going to go to Mesh, Smooth, and we're going to leave it to a division of one. We want a nerve sphere with the least amount of polygon faces. Now, when I hit three, you'll notice that we get a smooth sphere out of this cube. However, when I scale it from the center by hitting R and scaling the center cube, you're going to notice that once it reaches the NURB circles, everything looks good except for our corners. You'll notice that our corners are sticking out more than the center of our sphere. If we look at this sphere created from the cube from all of the views, from the top view, you'll notice that this is a little bit square. And if we go to the front, the same thing, and if we go to the side, the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this sphere until it's pretty close to the NURBS circles, and then we're going to scale all of the vertices in the corners, all of these corners right here. And what's going to happen is that our sphere is going to be a little bit smaller, but it will be perfectly round. And then we're going to select the entire sphere and scale it one more time so that it matches those NURB circles. So let's start with the corners. I'm going to select in all of the views, all of these corner vertices based on the camera. So with a marquee selection and holding shift, I'm going to select these two here, these two right here, these two right here, and these two right here. So this is from the top. Now I'm going to go to my front camera and I'm going to hold shift and control so I don't deselect these ones that are already selected. And from our side view, I'm going to do the same thing. Shift control and I'm going to select these. Perfect. Now what we're going to do, and I'm going to go to x-ray mode so you can see this happen in real time. Notice that the corners are not matching our NURB circles. So I'm going to hit R for scale and I'm going to scale all of those corner vertices until they go inside of those nerve circles. You'll notice that the entire sphere, it's going to scale down. But what we want to do is we want to do that until these corner vertices have the same distance as the vertices that are in the center of our sphere. So I'm going to go right about here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to object mode select the sphere, and I'm going to scale it on X, Y, and Z by pressing my middle mouse button after I select the scale X, Y, and Z in the channel box. And I'm going to make sure that the sphere matches the NURBS circles, like so. And if I go to all my views, you'll notice that this NURBS circles right here matches, here it matches, and here it also matches. Now we're going to select those NURB circles and we're going to delete them. And we're going to go to Object, Perform Modeling Hygiene. And this is how you create a perfectly round sphere based on a cube.